When you're looking to analyze data, it pays to collaborate with a diverse team of people. Different people mean different ideas. You'll also want to consider the size of your group. Too few people and the work might be overwhelming. Too many can complicate the process. What it comes down to is having the right people. But who are the right people? Teams should include both school district and community representatives. When school districts have a role in the process, you are more likely to get buy-in when it comes to choosing programs. Community representation allows the group to bridge gaps between services available and the people they serve. When you have your team formed, it is essential to have each team member read through the PAYS guide, review the PAYS workbook, and explore supplemental materials that you'll find on Penn State's EPIS website. The entire group should read the report and talk about the results. If you're looking to save time, you can divide sections two through six of the report on behaviors among the team members. It is important that everyone read section seven. This is the section on risk and protective factors. This is also a great time to start setting goals. Schedule out several meetings to discuss what you found in the PAYS report and set goals for completing the tasks. During the meetings, you can identify who should be the leader or leaders of your team to help organize the remaining steps. You will find PAYS related tools on the Pennsylvania Commission on Crime and Delinquency website. If you want to compare years, you can check out the multi-year state and county reports. If your team needs a special report to assist in your data analysis, the special report order form provides direction on the types of reports available. If you're looking to do cross-tabulation analysis of specific data points from your county report, check out the cross-tabulation tool. This is also available for school district level data. For that, check out the special report form. Exploring the youth behaviors, perceptions, and attitudes is the foundation of the overall prevention plan. When reviewing these sections, jot down how your local data compares to the county, the state, and national data. Section seven overviews how risk and protective factors in your local community are determined. As we identified in Getting Started video, reducing risk factors and increasing protective factors is how we address youth problem behaviors. For access to the full PAYS guide, click the link below and visit Penn State's EPIS website today.